We hope that you enjoy tonight's video. We're going to be looking at this Timex watch and, and how to replace this uh, acrylic crystal. As you can see, it looks really bad. It has all these scratches and so forth. And it's real easy to replace those. What you do is you get a crystal remover. You can get one like this, but they have different uh, styles and different ways of making these. But the idea is that this suppresses or squeezes down on that acrylic crystal. And then when you let it out, it expands back into this bezel. Alright. Let's see here. Now I have this watch in my left hand, obviously. Then I have this in my right hand. And this is just the way that I'm going to do it. You can probably do it a different way. Now what we're doing is we're just squeezing down on that old acrylic crystal. Okay, got to squeeze down a little bit more. Okay, there it comes. So there's the old acrylic crystal and and uh, we can see how horrible that is when you see it against a white surface it's all scratched up okay okay with this particular watch it has uh, this ring and uh, I don't know what the it's some kind of a, I call it a beauty ring yeah, that needs to go back yeah, on this particular watch, it's real easy to tell, but you notice how the outer edge here is facing up that way? Okay, that side goes down. So it kind of fits the contour of that dial. Okay, now a lot of watches aren't going to have that. Now what we're going to be using is this size 30.8 crystal. Notice it has to be high round plastic uh, crystal. Um, I'll talk more about that in just a minute, but you can use quite a few different acrylic crystals when doing this. Okay, so now we have the crystal out of the package here. And uh, we put it in these, and you can find these on eBay just really easily. Just look up uh, watch crystal remover and you'll see things like this show up. And they don't cost hardly anything. Okay, um, so now I have the crystal and this crystal remover. Then what I'm doing is I'm kind of squeezing that down like we talked about. Okay, let's see if I squeezed it down enough for it to fit in there. I don't think I have. Let's see what we got. Hmm. All right, looks like I need to squeeze it down a little bit more and re-put that. Uh... Okay, let's go ahead and put this ring back on. All right, that's important. All right, now I'm going to see if I can press that in now. This is all shadowed up, and I'm sorry about that. Okay, I'm trying to... Press that in. Alright, let's see what we got here. Yeah, I think we got it in there now. So what we're going to do now is we're going to let off the pressure and uh, see if we got it. Alright, well it looks like we got it on there. And uh, this uh, particular watch, it doesn't look so good. It's actually a parts watch. But I thought it worked great as far as showing you how to uh, change out these crystals. We notice how ugly that one is. And how this one's nice and clean. And that makes a huge difference. Well, let's talk about crystals real quick. 
To do these old watches from the 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s, usually they have the acrylic or plastic um, crystals. And you want to get them that are high dome or regular dome. You don't want a low dome crystal, and you certainly don't want them flat. So you do want them to be domed, and you kind of see how that's domed out. Alrighty. Now this one has a plastic step. Okay, see how it has a step there? You don't necessarily have to use those. You can get them without the step, and that's fine. You might need a slightly different size. What this step does is it gets slightly beneath the uh, bezel, okay? But if you get one without the step, then it just is held in there by incredible, quite a bit of pressure. Kind of the same principle, but you might need a slightly different size. If you're doing Timex watches, you need probably about every size between about 28 and I'll say 32 and a half millimeter crystals, and uh, that should do you as far as um, uh, men's watches. Most of them fall in that range. Um, well, I hope that you found this video helpful. This not only applies to Timex watches, but uh, pretty just many, many, many different types of watches. Uh, the same exact principle. Um, so if you have a watch from the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, and it's all scratched up, you can do this yourself. You can change out those crystals, and it's fairly easy to do. And if I can do it, you can do it, and all you need is very simple tools that are available on eBay. The ones that you find on eBay, these crystal removers, they are going to probably look different than this old-time one. This one's made in the United States, probably from the 60s, and I like it because it's real heavy-duty, but they come in many different styles and makes. But they all do the same thing. Alrighty, well thanks for watching this video. My wife and I are Christians. This means that all of our videos are family friendly. We have about 170 other watch related videos on YouTube that you may also enjoy. Well thank you for watching and have a good night.